Salesforce Developer Interview Questions Part 1 1. Why do we use transaction control statements? Answer. We use transaction control statements in a scenario where we are executing multiple DML statements and we want to roll back all the DMLs if one DML fails. 2. What are transaction control statements? Answer. Database. Save point database. Rollback are transaction control statements. These are available in the database class. 3. Can you write sample code for a transaction control statement? Four. What is mixed DML operations error? Answer. When we perform DML operations of setup object and non-setup object in a transaction then we get mixed DML operation error. Example inserting an account object and user with role record in a same transaction. 5. What are setup and non-setup objects? Answer. Setup objects. User user role etc. Non-setup objects. Accounts leads opportunities invoice underscore underscore C etc. 6. Can you tell me about a few objects which do not support DML operations? Answer. There are a few standard objects which are also known as system objects which does not support DML operations like business hours business process category note currency type dated conversion rate process instance profile record type self-service user static resource territory to etc. 7. What is a record locking or locking statement in Salesforce? Answer. In Apex, we can use for update to lock subject records while they're being updated in order to prevent race conditions and other thread safety problems. When an subject record is locked, no other client or user is allowed to make updates either through code or Salesforce user interface. 8. What is the benefit of a locking statement? Answer. When we use a locking statement then we can perform logic on the records and make updates which guarantee that the locked records won't be changed by another client during the lock period. The lock gets released when the transaction completes. 9. What are deadlocks? Answer. To avoid deadlocks, the Apex Runtime Engine first locks subject parent records, then children. Locks subject records in order of ID when multiple records of the same type are being edited. As a developer we should make sure we are not introducing deadlocks. We should verify using standard deadlock avoidance techniques by accessing tables and rows in the same order from all locations in an application. 10. What is Dynamic Apex? Answer. Dynamic Apex enables us to create more flexible applications using describe information. By using Dynamic Apex, we can write generic code that can be reused repeatedly with multiple S objects. Example, with dynamic objects we don't have to explicitly declare the name of the object like account, lead or opportunities. Based on the condition we can dynamically use any of the object and its fields example. We can also retrieve list of all the objects and its fields using dynamic apex etc. Thanks for watching Salesforce Start.